Hello and welcome, 14th of May. It's a beautiful day today. Three weeks ago, I took on this whole new plot behind me, which three weeks ago looked like this. So my first task on taking over this new plot was to get it tidied up and ready for planting so I don't miss too much of this season. Here's a video of what went on, the highs and lows. There's a fair amount of digging. Let's go back three weeks. So day one on the new plot. It's not even officially day one. This is Saturday. Don't sign the papers till Monday. There's still a padlock on the caravan and the shed at the back. Access might be slightly limited to that for the time being. I'm still assessing the situation, weighing it all up. I've done some strimming till the batteries run out, so recharge them overnight and finish off the strimming tomorrow of the grass path. So that's part of the assessment. Let's, let's, let's talk grass paths. So I've got three grass paths. One between my old plot, this bit, this one, and then down there. So we have to maintain these paths. These paths can't be sort of moved, if you like, but then we get to the grass path. There's another grass path across, but I guess it's up to me where I put the paths. I could dig that up and just have one big bed. I could put another one there. I could do what I like. And in terms of down by the raspberries here, Was that originally a grass path? I can do what I like, I can do what I like. It's a blank canvas, but do I completely overhaul it, just start again, or do I maintain a bit of what's here for ease? So for example, in terms of the order of play in which I sort this plot out, I was gonna start at the back here, work my way up, and then back down, but then, for example, this, once you get into it, it might be slightly complicated. Yeah, I can cut back some of the raspberries. This would be a quick win. Would be a quick win just to dig over. Some quick wins are bigger than others, or easier than others, you know. That, pull a few things up and dig it out. Versus, there'll be a load of weeding on the strawberries. So, like I said, I was going to be systematic. But systematic starting here, <laughs> that would take a lot more time than that. So, so as not to um, deter myself to the size of the job. I think the first job is to have to dig over some beds that are almost there. Give me some growing space. It's when he's some of of April now. Um, what date is it? 22nd of April. So if I get some beds ready, that'll give me a chance to get some stuff in the ground um, in a couple of weeks time. That's the rough plan. So the weeding and the digging over has begun. We've just got grass is going to be the problem as is everywhere we'll cope we'll cope so it's important to uh, stick to the plan keep pushing yourself or else we'll never get this done but terry who's giving up this plot has just been he's given me a guided tour of the bird's nest in the shed he's given me a quick lesson on dahlias but he's also dropped off the keys to the caravan. Now I've got a dilemma. Stick to the task. Have a look in the caravan. You know what we're gonna do. Right there, the caravan. This is the most exciting part of the day so far. Oh, this is gonna be good, isn't it? Excitement. In we go.
Right, I haven't been in there yet, so let's experience this together. Let's go. Carpets. Sit the door behind us. Well, we have drawers. Oh, that was the cooker. What's the cooker? <laughs> the old sink. The old sink. My word. Inbuilt. Cooker. Maybe. Look at that. Just the drawers. <laughs> Sideboard. Old lamp there. What's in here? Nothing. Here we go. Old heater. Elect. This is. Hello. Look at this. Got a nice. It's not damp. It's not damp. Here we go. So a. Oh, a beautiful. See, does it? And he can look out. Are they through the misty windows? The excitement of the plot. What is this? What is this? It's a radio. It's a radio. I wonder how that's powered. Look at that, it's beautiful. Goodness me. Goodness me. There's plenty to look at. Oh, do these slide? What do these what do these do? Push that in, slide it across. There's <laughs> a cubby hole for your knickknacks. Wow, 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 it's nothing. Oh, magazines. Oh. Gardening magazines, gardening magazines, don't worry. No, nothing untoward here, nothing untoward here. Uh oh, there's a cupboard here. <laughs> this could be the toilet, this could be the toilet. Let's... It was the toilet, I believe. <laughs> Hey, there we go. That is my caravan. Let's just sit in the sun. Pretend it's the 1970s. Right, that's the first bit. Possibly the easiest bit done. Took about three quarters now. I'm sure we haven't seen the last of that grass, but it's good, it's good. Give it another going over next week. Something in the ground. Obviously, I could have just covered that with cardboard and compost. If I had enough cardboard and compost, I might have enough for that little bit, but not for the whole plot if we're doing it. So, don't necessarily. The only reason I'm digging is just to expose those grass roots underneath, get rid of them bit by bit by bit. I reckon a couple of years where well, they got rid of the grass in that bed. And was not put so. so this bed was a bit of a different proposition. There was things in it uh, growing. So there was some broad beans. Some had been sown before the others had gone long and straggly so I took them out but there are a row of broad beans planted later that are coming up. Uh, there was a lot of bulbs underneath the uh, dry twigs that were coming up so bear in mind I had a lot of grass to remove. I came to the realisation I either spend a lot of time removing the soil from the grass before I put it on the compost heap or I end up putting half my allotment soil on the on the compost heap so what I decided to do in this instance bear in mind I can do what I like uh, it's a blank canvas I've took the top couple of inches of soil off and piled that up in a pile at one side of it so took all the vegetation off turned it upside down put it here and some of the bulbs that are coming up I've tried my best to put them in this mound of soil. So this mound of soil, if it gets covered in grass and my 
grass path is wider, so be it. Hopefully those bulbs will be nice flowers that come up. Uh, might provide a bit of a windbreak as well, but long term it might not stay there, that little mound, but short term I've now got two beds cleared that again go over it again in a week or so, remove any surface weeds and then hopefully crumble the soil a bit, It'd be good to plant stuff in. Right, it's as much digging as my back can take today. Um, we'll see what we get up to next. Um, yeah, it's an adventure isn't it? So we seem to be developing some kind of plan. So here for example, take the top few inches of soil off, turn them upside down, put them on the side to build some kind of ridge and then dig it over. So the same as what I did here last week. That one's just dug over, that one's top off and a barrier, barrier, dug over. That one's to do. So here, for example, there was a load of dry twigs coming up from those flowers. I took all the dry twigs off. Again here, a load of dry growth from last year. Took that off, it's all green underneath. There's another area where I've taken the top few inches off and piled them up on the side. So all the twigs are going there. So there's more dry twigs all over the plot. So my plan is to gather all them up together, put them there and have a fire. There's a few things you can do with dried twigs. You can compost them, you can bury them and let them decompose. Um, I've only ever had one fire since I've been here 10 years, but um, it's not my preferred method. But I've got a load of dried twigs. It will help to get rid of them in one go. So develop all my dry twigs into a pile there and we're, we're getting there we are getting there slowly but surely right we're about three half days in now I'm starting to make progress so a couple of thoughts on some of the beds I've done so far I've been taking the top layer of soil off putting that to one side creating a sort of raised mound um, obviously that'll be taking a lot of nutrients away out of the soil but I'm getting rid of the vegetation that's effectively weeds um, so that I hope will be balanced by the fact that there's a bigger drop now between the grass paths where actually where I'll be growing vegetables so hopefully that'll stop the grass paths encroaching talking about the grass paths I've given them the second strip I don't know the technical term, but the grass was overgrown and some of the grass has started to sort of clump, which is a lot harder to sort of strim. So it's gonna take a few more goes before it's, 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 it's more level, but we're getting there. Last point, weed membrane, weed controlling membrane. I found a lot of that. Over time, obviously that's great when it's fresh, over time, it just gets covered in soil. It just ends up a nightmare to take up because it's almost as bad as carpet, putting carpet down. When that gets buried, it's just a pain. This is not as bad, but it, it, it falls apart, sort of fragments, but it stops you digging your spade in. So just, if you're putting weed control membrane down, keep it maintained. Gripe over, gripe over. We're getting there. There's three more little sections I want to get cleared today. Just again, it's the same as before, just remove the weeds. Nothing new to add, I don't think so. Standard allotment video procedure when you want to show you're doing something but you've got nothing new to add. Let's have some time lapse.
I've got two out of three of the beds I wanted to get dug over today. Dug over. I've had enough of digging. I'm not finding it pleasurable <laughs> at the minute. Uh, I'm going to leave that other bed. Point wearing yourself out, isn't it? I'm going to go on light duties. I'm going to start collecting the dried vegetation from all over the plot. Add it to the pile here. I'm going to cut back all the dry, dead twigs from the raspberries over there. Let's call it pottering. So two days of mostly digging and it doesn't look too bad. Got the end bit over there to dig up and the back bit behind the raspberries to tidy up. But we're getting there and if we go to the other side, it's so looking back with my existing plot as the backdrop. I think it kind of ties in. Not that it has to. And then we've got all this lot to sort out. Let's get going. Right, so dig over this bit behind me, tidy up behind the raspberries over there. Then I've done half of the new plot. It won't be perfect, it won't be perfect. It's just growing space I can develop over time and work out what it looks like in the end. But my motivation for today is to get a couple of things done and I'm halfway there. That's that bed dug over then. Again, there's a load of weed controlling membrane there, which came up in bigger pieces, just covered in weeds now. But underneath that weed controlling membrane, the soil is just compact, it's just awful to dig. So, I still hate this stuff. Right, what I did find in that, I can see towards that side, was there was a few more twigs and stuff and that was actually a load of dahlias so when I dug it up there was a load of dahlia bulbs some had gone rotten Terry who had the plot before me I spoke to him before he left and he normally takes them out of the ground and puts them back in the hand so some have got hit by frost some were moldy but big clumps so I'm not a flower expert I will not give you a tutorial mostly because I don't know what I'm doing with that but I tried to get rid of the mouldy stuff and stuff that have gone rotten split them up as best I can and I'll put them back in the ground so some were showing signs of growth some unfortunately I chopped the bottoms off with a spade when I dug them out but I put them back in so hopefully we'll have some nice flower display there if not nothing lost I guess and to be honest there's probably some bulbs still left in there that I haven't dug up so all is good. Just do a bit of uh, tying up the back and one half's done, I think. So we get to this bit at the back of the allotment. So there's brambles, for example, some bushes, a lot of greenery here, but again, a lot of dry twigs. So I'm not too concerned about this. We'll get rid of the dry twigs, we'll get rid of the rambles but it's right at the back it's hidden by the raspberries from the front there's some rhubarb there but you know there's no way I'm digging all this over so we'll leave the greenery get rid of the dry twigs cut back any brambles that are there and then we'll leave this bit to nature. Let's call it a wild area. That's what you call any area on an allotment that you can't be bothered with at the minute. Right, let's get on with that. Time to start tackling the second half plot. This one's maybe slightly, slightly different proposition. It's got no grass paths going across. It's effectively one big bed with 
bits of wood of varying qualities across as little makeshift passes, stones here, bricks, paving slabs. So first job, I think, is just get rid of all that wood and stone, move that aside and see what we're left with. So we'll start at the back, let's have a reminder of what we're looking at here. Some lovely rhubarb at the back here. Strawberry bed, some of which are starting to flower. Raspberries which have thinned out. I think some currant bushes there too. Right, so just some old vegetation I can get rid of. Like I said, this hasn't got any grass paths across like there so there's when i was doing that first half it's like segments which you could do and achieve little beds little pockets of stuff this i don't know if it's slightly more daunting because it's all in one but for tackling it there's no like i've done that bit I move on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to Put some grass paths across. There'll be mud paths at first. There'll be mud paths at first. Divide it up into sections. Clear up this frame, this cane frame, which is it's all solid enough. Some things up that shortly. Right. So bit by bit this one. Bit by bit. Decisions, decisions. Do I sort of continue this path across there? Same here. Do I continue this path? across there or do I put one in the middle? Decisions, decisions. We'll see what happens. So I've decided to go in a straight line with my grass paths. Reasons, if I've got a wheelbarrow, do I want to be going up and then across and that uh, or you know straight line. So practical reasons. So I've started to define the edges of where the grass path's gonna be. Taking any grass from here, digging a small hole and popping it in there. So yeah, we're getting on with it. It was a very hard few metres to win over. It's a mixture of live grass, dead grass, raspberries cropping up all over the place. But got it done. Have my standards slipped from when I first started? Possibly. I've got a nice grass path there, and there was enough grass in here to make a really good start on the other grass path that I've got. I'll be complaining soon about having to strim there. Winning winning as anyone who's got an allotment knows victory is only temporary you have to keep on top of stuff maybe that win will be more temporary than others let's have a look at what we've got coming up next this is the bit i've just dug over and the new grass path this next section it's mostly clumps of things rather than grass spreading over so hopefully that won't take as long Grass path there. I've just put down, and again, this area is mostly just clumps of things. I've started to start a mound there of the stuff I take up, oh, turn it over, put it there. So I think it's reasonable I can get these two next bits done in the next couple of hours. That took about an hour and a half. My back can take no more digging today. I think we're about three quarters of the way done, but there are some challenges ahead. So after six half days, I've got that half cleared and sorted. I've got that sorted. At this point, I'm starting to think, what am I doing and why? So. The bits that I could easily get under control, get them under control, give me plenty more growing space. It's now the end of the first week of May, so you know, 
the allotment clock is ticking. That is a perfectly acceptable cane frame. If I took it down and put it back up, I wouldn't make it any better than that. So I'm gonna just weed underneath there rather than digging it all over. This area, I think I'm gonna dig that over, yes. Then we get to this stump of a bush or tree. Someone's tried to dig it out before. Time. How much time and effort would that take? And how much incentive or motivation have I got to move that? Do you know what? I like stumps. That's staying. Dig all that bit out. Then we get to this bit. It's just near the caravan. If I left that another week or two or three, couple of months, would it be any worse? I'm going to strim all that back to keep that. That's a buddly. I'm going to strim all that back. That's a nice dividing line. This I'll dig over. And then stage one complete, I think. Start getting some stuff in the ground. I'm a bit disappointed I'm not going to get it finished today. But I'm done for the day, I'm done for the day. Have a week's rest, next weekend we're in a good position to get it finished. Right, what have we found so far? Some of the beans that had grown on that cane frame last year were still in the pods clinging to the frame. So I'll pop them out and I'll actually put them back in the ground. We found a load more weed membrane. Ridiculous. I've started a new grass path where there wasn't one. And the tree bush is a big bush or a tree anyway that had to come out I was prepared to live and let live and leave it where it was but A is dead and B wasn't playing the game it was spreading far too far across where I wanted to dig so that had to come out it's fair to say I was quite pleased when that finally came out But, yeah, that's it for today. I'm in a good position to get it all finished next weekend. It's the next week, I'm back, refreshed. Let's get this finished off. So the digging over is finally complete, yes. I did uncover some dahlias as I was uh, going about my digging business, so I've relocated them. So I can start planting things, putting things in the ground. But there's one thing, one little thing I want to do first. So the last thing to put in was that kind of open greenhouse, a nice little hot space where I can put my, maybe some cucumbers or squash and pumpkins out there. So I've got a load of potatoes I can put in the ground now. I've got some squash and pumpkin seedlings that are just germinating nicely in the greenhouse, so they're going to go out. I can, I've got a load of sweet corn that's going to go in the ground, green beans and stuff. My existing plot, half plot that I've got, that didn't suffer, that didn't suffer. I'm glad I got this all done. Like I've said in the video, if I had 
a load of cardboard and money to spare I could buy a load of new compost easy option would have just been cardboard it and put a load of compost on and do some no digging but I've done it next week there might be a load of weeds I've looked at the first couple of bits that I dug over and there's a couple of things sprouting up but nothing too bad so it's, it's good now the soil although there's big clumps of it don't dig it when it's too wet don't tread on it it'll break up over time and soon the soil will be lovely like it is um, on my existing half pot <laughs> hopefully might take a couple of years what else have we learnt my back's not as young as it used to be all good, all good. The satisfaction of doing it yourself, that's what I like. Um, look, I did it all by myself. Could I have called in some friends or family to help me? Yes, I could, but do you know what? Tick in the box, I like, I'm stubborn. I've done it now, I've done it now. I've got, I can have a nice little fire shortly. Get stuff in the ground, all good. Thanks for watching, click subscribe, send me a comment. See you next time, cheers.